Hello, folks out there. Okay, we're talking about free energy, alternative energy, energy management storage systems, directed energy. Well, we have here a very special Navy style transducer that I used in Japan to demonstrate alternative energy. And by the way, I'll grab it here and show you that there's no hidden wires. The wire inside goes to the positive and the outside black wire is negative. Very active material. And what we're going to do here is see what happens when we apply a light to it. If I can zoom in. Ah, this is going to be tricky. Okay, doke. Let's try it. I don't think we got anything yet. Oh, there we go. And this is the light that you just saw. And we'll go back to this in a minute. And we'll hook up a meter as well to it. Um, so I set up some things here on this table to show and tell. These are the 15 pound motors running off a triple A battery. Unfortunately, I don't have any button cells, but as you can see, they're going pretty good. Both of them at the same time, connected to the same source. No hidden wires again. <laughs> Let's try again our famous uh, piece here. Try and get closer this time. And what we're going to do is do a measurement. Voltage measurement here. Okay, one lead. Yep, uh, uh, come on. And don't shock me. Okay. Oh, came off. Okay. I think we got the results we wanted. Okay, okay. And up here. Let's see here. We'll turn the meter on. Whoa, it shot out the meter, I think. Obviously doing something to it. Wow, I think it's on overload. Very active material. If I grab it, of course, I hope I don't get... No, I guess... No, nothing happens. Same kind of reading. So this basically is a free energy device, and what you need to do is study it, make it into cells, and all that cool stuff. You could actually power anything with it, I suppose. Looking down at it again. So free energy now. <laughs> and we have these unique motors. I can just go over there for a minute. U.S. military made for HP company in the 50s. So if what happens, let's test the torque, it's pretty strong. Well, that's one way of testing torque, I suppose. Primitive but effective bone. Disconnect. I'm going to show you another cool, cool trick here. They are generators as well. It's disconnected from the battery. And when I turn this here, of course, the other one turns. And vice versa. So these uh, will put out 24 volts at about 400 revolutions. Then, moving right along, what you can do with something like that is charge up the old-style electrolytic capacitor. And I'll show you how that works, too. Get close if I can. I pre-charge it, by the way. Wow, 
Wow. These are old fashioned capacitors that hold hell of a charge. You can make a good welding machine, I guess, right? <laughs> you can also take a 9 volt battery and put it on top and charge it up. It'll do the same thing. So, this is kind of like energy management system. You won't get this through an ultra ca capacitor, by the way, but the old style electrolytic. Did we discharge it? And moving right along to directed energy. Cool stuff. Well, we have a machine here, a radio generator. Turn it on. Uh, on button, please. And we can have fun here. Grab the bulb. It's a light bulb, ordinary light bulb. Apply it here. And guess what? It lights up. Put it on one of my metal samples, by the way. So... This can be quite interesting at great distances. We demonstrate that on uh, True TV. So what we'll do is turn it off now and take another measurement of our unique free energy thing over here, which interests me kind of the most. How are we doing in volts? Okay. Looking pretty cool. Jumping all over the place here. So when you have these all matched up in series and parallel, you have quite a energy stack. Uh, I don't know if it'll light a light bulb yet, with, but I can try. Again. Now, I have to put the camera down, running into oh, seven minutes here. Will I get electrocuted? I don't know. Oh, I did. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Sorry about that. That was pretty powerful. And then it should light up this light bulb. Again. I hope. I may have to do another video. Pulsed energy. Oh, it did. So it lit up the light bulb, rated for 110 volts. Again, um, no hidden wires. Move it all around, put it on the floor, and maybe even do a test on the floor. Skeptics always think there's wires and batteries and things. Well, that's kind of cool. It's quite a lively one. I used another demonstration. I actually powered one of those motors. Haha. <laughs> so, let me just get around here. See, it's just on the floor. If I can get it, get the red wire over. Okay, now get here to the light. This is where you need it. A lot of production stuff here. There it goes again. Pulse power. Discharges and rebuilds and sends out anywhere from, oh, several volts to... 5,000 volts. Let's see if it does it again. Yes, it does it again. So we have pulse power coming out of this special cylinder here, which will give you a hell of a zap. You see it's just sitting on the floor. I don't know what that is. It's like a burn mark or something. Anyway, any other info on this guy? I know they resonate at 18.5 kilohertz. That was measured by the Kyoto Institute of Technology. So, I'm looking for a bit of investments to get this off the ground and into production. And let's see if we can get another one, one more time here before I'm going to run out of camera memory here. Kind of zoom in on it. Yep, another one coming off our powerful cylinder. There's no transmissions going on here, uh, like um, a Tesla transmitter or anything like that. Oops, the thing fell off. I wonder if we can get a spark off of it. Let's check that out. Okay. Yeah, I got a bit of a spark. I don't know if the camera picked it up. So, barium titanate, specially made for the U.S. Navy Department. 
and running right along. Let's check our motors again. When I turn this wheel, generator takes a button batteries actually will run them as well. Is this guy recharged at all? No, I think he's had it. But again, I can attach one of these generators to this and charge it up as well as one of these here. The special barium titanate. <laughs> so, if I attach this to this, it will build up a charge in roughly, oh heavens, maybe 10 minutes. Okay, any more experiments we can do here? Get a spark? No, maybe just try getting shocked again. Hold on. I don't know when this camera runs out of memory, but we shall see here. Will I get zapped? Ow! Another zap. Ouch. Okay, just hooking up. And I need this up here. I'll lay it on the side then. Good grief. Try and zoom in on the light there. Bring the red wire around, which I resoldered on. Yeah, see, I've got one more flash out of it. Yeah, we got another flash out. So it's pulse power. Builds up, builds up, builds up, discharge, build up, discharge. So that can be incorporated into a number of unique free energy machines. These things have to be all perfect series, parallel, and you got massive energy. So free energy exists, folks. Again, uh, no Tesla transmitters powering this thing. It's just unto its own. And if you are interested in supporting my technology, please uh, check out Google search out Hutchison Effect Japan, where I gave a demonstration before a TV audience, as well as a scientific team on using this stuff, actually. I sold it to the Japanese. They want them so desperate, they're giving me six grand for it. Anyhow, folks, uh, thank you for your attention. Have a great day, and it was fun doing this, actually. So, take care, folks.